Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we have another exciting snack crate to share with you. Yay! It's been a minute. It huh? has been a couple of minutes. Yeah. I have to tell you, we still have our subscription. We're still getting the boxes. But so many of you have been so kind yeah. to send boxes to us that snack crates kind of got pushed to the side a little bit. But it's time today that we open one. We're excited. It's time to get our snack crate on. That's right. This is our first subscription box that we ever got. And um, if you're new here, we should say, if you haven't heard us say this before, the UK snack crate is the thing that started it all. It's yeah. one of our very first, please don't go back and watch it. It's one of our very, everybody says I look like I'm unhappy and I don't like anything. It's nerves, people. It's nerves. It was our first like snack crate. It was when we very first started. Yeah. So yeah. Very cringy. Um, it was a UK box and it was a trial size and that kind of get a, it gave us the bug both for subscription boxes for snack crate and for all things UK, I yeah. guess. Yeah. So um, anyway, so if you're not familiar, we get a one a snack crate sent to us once a month. Uh, you cannot customize this box in any sort of way, which is one thing that some people don't like, but it's actually what we like about it. We appreciate it. It's, it's a complete surprise, both where it's from and what we're getting. Yeah. Um, this is the medium size, I said, which is about... It's about 25 bucks. Shit. Yeah. Yep. So, there, like, obviously, there's one smaller. There's one larger. You can also add a drink yeah. to your box. And, For uh, the summer months, you can... They'll... You pay a little bit extra, but they will put it in, a like, an insulated bag or packaging yeah. so that it doesn't melt. Yeah. So... We don't know where it's from. There is a little greeting somewhere. Yeah, so on the label... Each month when we get it in, there's a little greeting that is kind of a hint. Yeah. Um, this one, I have no clue. I can't even see what it says. It says Swazdi. <laughs> S-W-A-S-D-I. I have never heard that word before. It makes me think like Swahili or maybe something in Africa, you know? I don't, I don't know. I have no clue. Yeah, I feel like it would be a country that maybe we're really, like, not familiar with. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. That could be any... Where? <laughs> yeah. We're learning, we're growing. It's fun to learn about other cultures and people. And that's one of the things that we appreciate about Snack Crate is they have a little insert that tells you fun facts. And yeah. so we're not just trying products, but we're learning about other countries. And so this makes an amazing, if you don't know what to get somebody that has a family or even, you know, just another couple, you don't know what to get them for Christmas. I think Snack Crate would make a really fun oh, sure. um, gift. and. We don't get any sort of kickback or anything like that. We just really enjoy it. Yep. Got my handy dandy box cutter here. Yay! Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's see. Show them first. All right, here we go. Where are we eating foods from today? Come on, tell us. Where's it at? Thailand. Thailand. Ooh, I never would have thought that with that Me neither. salutation. Thailand. Right. Thailand, I don't know what to think. So I've had Thai food before um, and I really enjoyed it. I don't, I don't know what to think of like for snacks though. Yeah. Interesting. So here I am breaking my own rule. Let's get everything out. <laughs> See what we have. Oh no. I'm not oh. looking at the flavors, <laughs> but oh yes. no. If you know, you know. I'll That's tell gross. you about that in a minute. All right, so let's keep, yeah. Is that? Okay. Box so here's the little insert. Um, one side is just the packaging and the other side has fun facts. We'll get to that in a little bit. We like to eat savory to sweet, so we kind of ferret out what's, I don't know what this is, but I like what it looks like it is. Oh, nice. Cola. Yeah. Uh, there's also an information sheet in here on the snacks themselves, so uh, because like this, a lot of it's in a different language and we don't know what it is. Savory, okay. savory. Savory. Lots of savory in this one. Which, that's all right. Yeah, Maybe. we love like... it. Okay. All right, what is this? 
I don't know. Okay. Oh, there it is. Mint flavored hard candy. Bang bang. Why? What is that? Wafer cream, coconut. That goes there. The cookie. Cookies. Right? I think this is savory because it's seaweed. <gasps> Lots of savory. So we have done a couple of Asian things on our channel. Mm -hmm. uh, some of it we've really, really enjoyed. We love Asian food. The snacks have been hit or miss yeah. for us. Some of it is blow your roof off hot, hot spicy. for me. I'm also not the biggest, biggest fan of the things that are super, super fishy. Mm -hmm. You know, there's some of that. Um, but I always, always, always appreciate um, the variety of things that we get to try and, um, you know, learning about different cultures, like I said. So, you know what I see on this bag of chips here? What? Prawns. Yay. Yeah. All right. So for savory, this is what I was telling you or what I was having a fit about. This company does amazing stuff sometimes. <laughs> and then we have had a couple of these that I would consider inedible. <laughs> yeah. Not really, but I really didn't, really, really, really did not like a sweet corn flavored one of these that we had. So these are pretz. These are like breadsticks. Ah! One's corn flavored. One is corn flavored. <laughs> I already know I hate you. Um, this larb. is larb. I don't know what that is or if I'm willing to eat it. I guess I'm going to be looking that up. All right. We shall see. see. But um, we also have, what is this? This is two in one. Oh. Whoa. Let's go with this. This looks right. more familiar. Lay's shrimp and seafood chips. These crispy, crunchy potato chips pair the distinct flavors of freshly grilled prawns with Thailand's signature seafood chili sauce. Possibly hot. Doesn't say hot. That's what I anticipate. Yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness. Well, we love a good prawn crisp, do we not? Oh yeah. I just, I don't know if I want it to be spicy. That one had a boo-boo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I see two different things in here. So I've got this one here, and then I'm gonna get this kind of spicier looking one. Do you orange. think they're different? Yeah. Or do you just think the seasoning's heavier on some? Mm, I think they're different. Okay, cheers. cheers. Mm hmm That tastes just like um, whatever that dish was, that the seafood chili sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like that. There's it's a, got a little kick to it, though. It's a little spicy for me. It's not too spicy. Um, the flavor is really nice. Mm -hmm. You can taste like the greens in it, you know, because you can yeah. tell in the soup that there's like a or whatever I, that sauce, chili sauce. Here's the thing. From trying that, I the chip's okay. I think I would really like the actual dish. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I, I feel like I would appreciate the flavors going on in it. Me too. All right. So you think I need the other one? Yeah, look for an orange. Orange. There you there go. go. Cheers. Mmm. I could definitely taste the prawns. Me too. Mm hmm But it's good. It does taste like grilled shrimp. Doesn't it? That, yeah. That is bizarreness to me. <laughs> I don't want to say never, but definitely it is not common for a potato chip company. If they say it's this flavor and that flavor, it's those flavors all together on all of the chips. I don't think I've ever seen, I mean, Doritos did roulette where some were mm. spicy and some were not. But it's not very common to put two different kinds of crisps, chips into the same bag. Right. I like that. Yeah. I appreciate that. I wish they would do that more. I've said before, like, 
with hot spicy crisps i think like sour cream ones would be good yeah, like, like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. chip and dip kind of thing yeah. yeah anyway those are good mm -hmm. i like them all right what do you want to try oh the so those there's another one i don't know i don't know, yeah, about. I don't know about i'm gonna that. tell you the truth but menorah pumpkin chips these chips have a light and airy texture that will keep you munching and crunching on their pumpkiny goodness until the whole bag is gone. I don't know about that. Not sure how I feel about pumpkin chips or crisps. The texture or... is very interesting. Um, everything I've ever eaten in my life, I'm pretty sure that's pumpkin. They don't smell like pumpkin. Mm -hmm. I have not liked pumpkin spice. Right. You that is not it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've had pumpkin baby food too unfortunately <laughs> and that was not it either so we'll see right pumpkin pie i don't like that either that's pretty good actually it doesn't taste like pumpkin that texture reminds me of is it quavers the little round puffy kind of things that we've had from the UK before I they had so. prawn cocktail ones yeah yeah yeah. that's what the texture kind of reminds me of mm. um it's light and airy. that does not take I imagine they were gonna be like pumpkin like pumpkin pie flavored right. mm -mm. they're not at all those are good those are good they're just like don't taste like pumpkin at all mm -mm. kind of actually tastes a little bit like a rice snack you know yeah and it's got um it's just like salt it has really nice crunch. Yeah, I like that. Here's the thing. If you get stuck in your own head about things and and aren't willing to try anything, there's certain things that I'm not willing to eat. Certain, you know, insects, let's say. I'm not willing to eat. But flavors, I mean, if you don't like it, you just don't eat it again, right? And right. I really did not think I was going to, I didn't know about the first one. I didn't think I would like the second one. Liked them both. All right. So... We have nuts, we have seaweed, we have sunflower seeds. Why don't you do the nuts? I have a nut allergy if you're new. Okay. And Peanuts coconut cream flavor coated. Let's see what it says about that. I'm going to look up what this other flavor is. We don't generally do that, but I just want to make sure it's something that I'm willing to eat. Where, oh where, oh where, oh where are these things. I don't see it on there. You I don't? don't see it on here. Nope. Oh well. So it says that they're peanuts coconut cream flavor coated. So. Hmm. Coconut cream flavor. Okay. You're gonna have to read the ingredients Oops. on this on the larb ones because when I looked up what larb was, it gave a variety. It's a meat flavor, okay. but um, some of the meats that could be included would be meat that I don't eat. So okay, um, let's see. So these are just like little coated peanuts. Let me smell. Do they smell like coconut? Nope. It smells nope. like peanuts. Yeah, they do. Crunchy. For they sure. smell good. Mmm. -hmm. They don't really taste coconut. They just taste peanutty to me and they're crunchy. And not really salty. But they're good. Mm. I like them. Good. I don't know. No coconut flavor here. Alright. But I like it. Alright. I'll definitely eat those. Next. These, let's do these corn pretz things. I swear. This package looks different than the other one we had. Yeah. If and you, the one that we had was sweet corn. But if it tastes like actual corn, great, cool, wonderful. I love corn. But if it tastes like canned, like, cream corn, that is not... I do not like it. Yeah, I don't think I like this. <laughs> I'm being honest. We should say hello and welcome if you're new. Hello and welcome if you're new. <laughs> This and welcome we, back if you're not new. This is what we do. We try food. 
We also do other things. We like to travel. We like to cook. We like to garden. We play games. Yeah, little art stuff. Yeah, if you're into any of that, please go ahead and stop what you're doing. Subscribe right now and make sure you hit the little bell Ding. so you can be notified when our new videos go up. It's every single day. We just never know how many. We never know what time. So Nobody the, knows anything. If the bell's on, you'll be notified. Also, we're going to be doing some more uh, video premieres and some live events. So you want to make sure that you have the bell on so you get a notification. Okay. I'm guard. That's all the things I can think about <laughs> to prolong trying this. Here, can I break mine? And uh, I'm really nervous. Mm-hmm. It's exactly the same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No offense, no offense, no offense. That is, I mean, we live in Iowa, which, you know, corn is king here. Corn and beans are our main export. Things are These things are not bad. Not, no, those things are not it. It just <laughs> tastes like canned corn. Mm-hmm. All right. Apparently I'm a corn snob. <laughs> okay. Do you want to look at the ingredients on this one? All if, right. it, if it doesn't spell out though the meat, um, I don't eat duck, and I don't eat lamb. Sorry, um, but those were both meats that were mentioned that could potentially be part of this. Okay, the other pretz is larb flavor. So I'm gonna open this up. And there's really no other description for it. It just says that it has this flavor. Are you gonna try? I'm gonna try it very little bit. There's okay. a couple of things that I won't eat, and so we had to stop and see what was in this. Cheers. Cheers. Not a whole lot of flavor. It tastes like a it tastes like a breadstick. Yeah. With some seasoning on it. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah. Mm, it's that, got a little kick to it. It's yeah. got a little spice. That's okay. I don't mind that, especially compared to the corn one. Yeah, you the like it better than the corn one, huh? For sure. It does <laughs> have a little not a ton of flavor, but a little bit of heat. Mm-hmm. A little bit of heat there. Alright. So these are sunflower seeds. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? There we go. Savory roasted sunflower seeds coated in a rich, delicious, and yet unusual combination of sweet corn and a cheese flavoring. We'll see. Let's try it and see. <laughs> I like sunflower seeds and I can eat them. Although, I don't know if I'm happy about that or not. <laughs> Here you go. I'm glad though that that flavoring is something that is native to where we live, so I feel like I can say it with no problem that I don't like cream corn. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Which is not, I mean, nothing against Thailand. It's just I yeah. don't like cream corn. All right, cheers. cheers. She doesn't like that. It is the same flavor. It's the same flavor as the pretz. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it better on the sunflower seeds though. Yeah, it's not as strong. Mm -hmm. I don't think the, the sunflower flavor kind of mm -hmm. tones it down. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, it's a good like little crunchy snack, but I would not have thought or pictured corn flavor on that. Me neither. That seems strange and um, not strange, very different. And uh, cheese too. Sunflower yeah. seeds that we get here that are flavored usually have heat, or we like see ranch. ranch. Um, I've There's seen some like pickle ones, pickle flavor. Yeah, honey barbecue and and yeah. like some different ones like that. Um, the cheese makes sense to me, but I don't taste any cheese. I didn't either. I just tasted the corn. Yep, me too. Corn and sunflower. And that's it. Mm -hmm. All right, and last here on the savory snacks is the big roll, and we can tell it's seaweed. Mm -hmm. Which generally I like, I don't love. Yeah. What about you? No, yeah, I don't love it, but um, we've tried it before and I like it okay. Some seaweed is super hot. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna 
break off a piece here from the big roll. Where we used to live, we've told this story before, we're friends with a little um, sweet lady that's a sushi chef where we used to go and she would uh, go to Chinatown in Chicago and bring us back things mm, and cook for us. Them, yeah, yeah, and, we, and uh, we've had some really amazing things and some other stuff that was whew, way too spicy. <laughs> way too spicy for me. Cheers. Anyway, cheers. It's um, actually kind of sweet for the yeah. seaweed. And no heat. Tastes of the ocean, mm -hmm. for sure. Brininess to it. Mm -hmm. That's not bad, actually, no. for a seaweed snack. I don't, I don't mind that at all. Especially the stuff that I've had that's like super spicy. I just can't handle. All right, you want to rank oh. the savory stuff? Sure. All right, so... Number one for me is going to be uh, these chips. Um, I like them. I like both the flavors. I thought they were pretty good. I wish more companies would do that too. Yeah. Have the dueling flavors in one bag. These uh, fried pumpkin chips, those were almost number one for me. I debated on it, but I'll put them number two. I love these little fried peanut things. Number three. Um, let's see. The pretz, not the corn ones. I like the larb ones. Those were, those were, I mean, they were just like a basic breadstick, it tasted like. Um, and then the sunflower seeds, then the corn pretz, and then last was this big roll seaweed. I'm just not that big of a fan of seaweed, but it, it was good. Yeah. The, the texture's a little funny for me. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's just not what we're used to. Um, okay, so that I'm not, not going to rank, rank because I couldn't try it. Uh, that is my same order for these. And for these, I'm moving seaweed over these corn things. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought that at <laughs> the beginning, you know? I mean, you might have because you didn't like the corn flavor, but... Yeah. yeah, which is so strange because I really, really, really love corn. It is the vegetable that we have almost all the time. But inherently, I don't like it when you take corn flavor and put it on something else. Right. I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't. But um, that's a really good assortment of different things, and I appreciate how unique. You know, you never judge a book by its cover. Because looking at this, I would have thought I would have hated this yeah and some of the stuff like looking at this packaging i thought that was going to be way spicy or that maybe i wouldn't like it and so sometimes you're presently pleasantly surprised well look at there all right let's get this stuff out of the way ouch Ooh, are you okay mm -hmm. okie dokie oh this has almonds in it okay these are little cookies like Oreos. These look like chocolates. Uh, dynamite. Oh, these are the mint choco filled mint flavored candy. I don't... I can't tell if that has nuts in it. Let's uh, just pick that one first and then... Okay. There we go. Uh, if it has nuts, you can just eat it. These are called Bang Bang Whites. B-E-N-G. Uh, crispy wafer sandwiched with a coconut cream and coated with rich white chocolate. Make the snack a true tropical treat. That sounds good to me. Yeah. John loves a wafer. I love a coconut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's Ooh. what it looks like. I'm going to take a bite instead of trying to break it or anything. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of some stuff that we've had, like this wafer type stuff previously, like a timeout bar or something like that. We just had a Tunix that had coconut on the outside mm -hmm. and caramel on the inside. Similar vibes to that. Mm hmm. But mm -hmm. no caramel, it's coconut on the inside, a cream. Yeah. Mm. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's really good. It's, well, the wafer is good crunchy the coconut is great and yeah. we don't normally 
like white chocolate. I shouldn't say we don't normally like it. It's, it's not our choice. Ordinarily. That's really nice with it. Oh, yeah. For sure. Okay, now what? Um, I don't know. These little cookies? Sure. All right. Jack and Jill is the brand. Um, let's see what I can read about it. They're, they kind of look like Oreos. Some of these things I don't see on the list. Nope, not on there. But it just looks like a sandwich cookie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, I mean, I think the flavor is just going to be like Oreo, you know, like yeah. vanilla cream or whatever. Mm-hmm. There you go. The vanilla flavor comes through. Mm-hmm. Even though it looks like, you know, like one of the chocolate sandwich cookies, it doesn't seem that chocolatey or cocoa-y. Mm-hmm. Less of that flavor and it's got more vanilla, I think. Yeah. The va vanilla flavor is really nice. Yeah. Crunchy. Mm -hmm. Um, fresh. It's yeah. Good. Those like are it. good. Yeah. That's, you know, just kind of typical of what you would expect. Yeah. Right. We had some in a different box that had lemon cream that we did not like. Mm -hmm. We didn't like the chocolate and the lemon together. Okay. These are Lush, also from Jack and Jill brand, center filled chocolate chewy candy. Center filled with what? I think chocolate. Oh. Da, da, da. There it is. Lush chocolates. It only takes one bite to flood your mouth with flavor. These luscious taffy-like candies are quite literally bursting with a chocolatey drizzle. Taffy-like, huh? Mm, taffy-like. That's weird for um for them to call it taffy-like with chocolate. Yeah. Unless it's like Tootsie Roll. Oh yeah, it could be. Because that could might be, be a ta you know that might be what somebody would consider. They don't. Interesting. And it says it's filled, so. Yeah, those don't feel, I mean, I don't know. They're teensy tiny. Dun dun, look how small. Cheers. Cheers. We're trying to see what was going on in the center. Very similar to a Tootsie Roll. Mm-hmm. Is how I would describe it. Mm-hmm. A chocolate chew with a chocolate liquid center. Yeah. I mean, Tootsie Rolls are okay. It's normally not my pick or my favorite. Um, but if there's like one sitting at a dish somewhere and I'm, I'll probably eat it. <laughs> and you're you know? desperate. Yeah. So that's just okay to me. You know, it does taste very similar to a Tootsie Roll. Mm -hmm. It's just like a Tootsie Roll. Except for Tootsie Rolls do not have that center. I do like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Okay. Okay, this is mint. These are almond. Maybe I should try yeah. this. So that is on there somewhere. I saw it. United Almond Two-Tone. Get the best of both worlds with this candy bar. Enjoy whole roasted almonds smothered it with a chocolate and strawberry coating. Interesting. Mm. Nice little box. Look at this. Small. Like thin. Ooh, there's the one broken off. That's the, on the chocolate side. And then, oh. see, it, normally it broke, but it comes like that. So strawberry on one side, chocolate That's on the neat. other. That's neat. Yeah. All right, down the edge. Strawberry smells nice. Mm hmm. You know what I would have to do is chocolate and strawberry together. I love that Neapolitan. We just did that not too long ago. We talked about how when we were kids, whenever we had Neapolitan, had we 
how we would like mix it all together. Mm-hmm. It's nice. I like it. The almonds are good. I love almonds. Me too. Mm. The strawberry and the chocolate are okay. Um, they're not very sweet at all. Is it like almond bark? <clears throat> the mm. chocolate? No, I don't think so. It's just like a kind of not very sweet chocolate. I think of almond bark as being not so sweet. Mm, okay. You know like candy melts that you put over like nut clusters and stuff? That's what I picture. Yeah. Mm. This is kind of similar to that, yeah. Okay. All right. Now, what's that one? These Mint. are mints and that says cola, I think. Give this to me. Anything that says cola. Yo-Yo Cola Jelly. And it says jelly, yeah. A refreshingly cool, crisp bottle of cola in a chewy gummy form. Great, paired with a movie. These tasty, this tasty treat surely won't last long. Interesting. Never have I ever had gummies that were little. I've seen bigger gummies in individual packages, but this is like individually wrapped gummy bears. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That, that's a lot of packaging. Yeah, it is. Okay, it is not. It's just like a round disc. They feel super de duper. Ooh, it smells like cola. Oh. <laughs> you almost feel like you get effervescence. <laughs> effervescence. Mm hmm. Mmm, soft. I love those and other words for love. Like many, like. Those are amazing. They are good. They are packed with cola flavor and they're super soft. Mm -hmm. They sure are. Mm. And they're individually wrapped. Like you said. Mm -hmm. How weird. Isn't that weird? I mean, it's strange for us to have uh, gummies individually wrapped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, that cola flavor is good. You know what would make that better? Cherry cola. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Those are yummy. Some. Yeah. Let us know if you know. Do they make those in other flavors? What they do not things? make enough cola flavored treats in the world. Am I right? Mm. Mm. And I've said this before. I don't even drink cola. I just love cola flavored candy. <laughs> well, these feel like a hard candy. There's these. Yeah, we got to have that. Those are yeah, yogurt. cougar yogurt candy. We don't always eat chewy candy for breakfast, but when we do, you um, can bet it's bursting with creamy yogurty goodness. We uh, have talked about our, <laughs> I almost said our friends. Everybody that we watch on YouTube or that watches us on YouTube, we consider our friends. So, Mr. Beast, our friend. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, we watch uh karen nate which is a young couple that travels the world and they are where are they right now uh in our view yeah um ba, 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 ba. i think they're in like serbia or croatia or something like and, that and she went to get what she thought was milk and it was a yogurt oh that's right drink and she didn't know if she would like it but she did hmm. Yeah. So it kind of reminds me, I feel like other cultures and countries do more. I mean, we get yogurt here, but not like yogurt drinks and, and not, not much like, yogurt candy. Like no. yogurt covered pretzels or and raisins. almonds or nuts. Yeah. yeah. So this is a yogurt taffy or chew. Mm hmm. I like it. Me too. It doesn't necessarily taste like yogurt. Mm, yeah. Those are good. Mm-hmm. Mm, it kind of tastes like maybe a Starburst that they didn't put the flavor in. Do you know what I mean? Like it's sweet. It has much flavor. Yeah, it's sweet. It has flavor, but um, yeah, it's I I would if I tasted that blindfolded, I would not say yogurt. 
I don't know what I would say. It's good. It's very hard to describe. Mm -hmm. There is a sweetness, like you said. Hmm. Good. And now, Mentos. What we did we decide these here. are? Uh, those are just hard candies. I don't know what the flavor is, and I don't think it's in our list here. Okay, what about Mentos? What does it say? <gasps> Get out of our planet. <laughs> More cola flavor. Did right? you know that? I think this so. is soda mix. <gasps> How did I not know that these were a thing? And can we get them here? And I need to know. <laughs> the chewy, I guess I should find out if I like them first. <laughs> the chewy, usually minty candies you love with a sweet and bubbly soda surprise. Pop the top on this treat and we guarantee you won't stop. Yes, please. I mean, this one has to be mine. Right? Sure. I imagine it's lemon lime. Probably. Which my favorite soda is. Oh, lemon guess what lime. I have? Well, you can go a to green a different one, one if you lemon want. Lemon lime. I mean, I assume it's lemon lime. It might not be. Well, yeah, there's a red one after that. Ready? Go. It's harder than I thought it was. This isn't lemon lime, is it? Maybe it's just lime. I think it's just lime. Mmm. I can't remember when I've ever had a Mentos. Or if I have it, it's been a really long time. Yeah. It looks like they might have lime, strawberry, lemon, and it looks like a grape, maybe. Hmm. All right. No cola flavor. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah. Those mm. are good. They're... I thought that they would be softer than that. Mm-hmm. They're okay to me. They're yeah. not... They're not like how I pictured in my head and my heart. Yeah. <laughs> how they yeah. were going to be. Aw. Mm -hmm. The fruity flavor is nice, though. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Okay, and the last... Oh, no, we have this. Let's see about this. What is it? Look like... Oh. Just kind of looks a little bit just like a butterscotch candy. Are these all the same? I don't know what it tastes like. What yeah. does it say? I, I can't tell. I don't know. You better taste it. Because what if it's peanut butter? Not peanut butter. I don't know what it is. We've had some hard candies like this before, though. Are they like Werther's? Mm-mm. Um, remember we had some hard candies in one of these boxes I'll that were like a, um, it was like an amber color and it just tasted kind of sweet. I can't remember what it was called or less, what the flavor was. Mm. It was tasty though. that whole thing now. Hmm. That's hard to describe. It it's is. a little it's sweet. Um it's a little tart. <laughs> or maybe it's just mixing with what I just had. Maybe. I mean I took a drink but hmm. Hmm. That's alright. Yeah. I really don't know how to describe that to you. Yeah. It really reminds me of something that we've had, but I don't know how to describe it either. But. All right, last but not least, we have Jack and Gil, Jack and Gil, Jack and Jill Dynamite candies. These are choco-filled mint-flavored candies. Choco-filled mint. Yeah. Chocolate. I love all the little individual. They're all about the same yeah. size. Weird. Look at it. It's like. White chocolate filled. And it's a hard candy. Yeah. We have something like this. We have some that are green, like a mm -hmm. and and black or a dark brown and Yeah, green yeah, it was a was that the chocolate lime? 
Mm -hmm. Is that what you're thinking of? Well, we have had those, but I'm saying in our country we have chocolate and that are wow. hard candy. It's like that. I don't know that we've gotcha. tried them. Whoa, that is mint. Like, that's not a subtle flavor. That's That'll wake you up. This is like what you need after eating seaweed and, <laughs> you know, what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean. It's very, um, Powerful. strong. Yeah. Powerful mint. Mm-hmm. Those are good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. It's got a chocolatey filling. Yeah. Okay, do you want to rank? Mm-hmm. All right. First, we got to get everything over here. Oh, that's just a wrapper. Okay. <laughs> Number one for me was that white chocolate wafer with coconut. Love that. Um, two, I'll do the almonds, strawberry and chocolate. Mm. I like the yo-yo. Um, these were the gummy cola candies. Um, I'll do the cookies. The lush chocolatey things like Tootsie Rolls. Mentos, the yogurt things, the hard candies, and then I think last is the mint. Mm -hmm. It's good mint. It's good and strong, but I don't know. I like the other things better. I think I would really like these, but I can't try them, so I'll throw those out. These were my absolute favorite. Number one. These are some of my favorite gummies I've ever had, I think. Ooh, those are that's really something. soft really packed with flavor loved 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 those um no yeah this coconut thing next um hmm. yeah it's kind of hard to rank some of these things here's the thing we get something so very similar i mean obviously oh, yeah. we get oreos here so i'm gonna move this down we do get um Tootsie Rolls here too, so for the same reason I'm kind of moving that down. Um, I like these. I'm anxious to try the other flavors. They didn't have cola flavor, so I got myself all worked up over nothing, but uh -huh. I still liked what they were. So I'm going to put those there. Um, uh, these, these, this yogurt candy, I think. Um, then the mint, then this other flavor oh, that I couldn't hard describe. Candies last, huh? That I couldn't yeah, it's... describe to you. It's a little bit tangy for me. Um, we are not huge hard candy, boiled sweet eaters. Right. We are much more taffy, chews, chocolate, those kind of yeah, sweet gums. eaters. Gum, oh yeah, gummies for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so they're okay, but they, you know, when I get a hard candy like that, I typically go for butterscotch, and I really love root beer yeah. ones or maple, which are really hard to find. But when I can find them, anyway, that's my order. Fair enough. What was your favorite thing in the whole box? Um, favorite thing in the whole box. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! I don't know. I think I like that wafer. Better than the white chips? White chocolate wafer. Uh, the chips were good too. It's just two different flavors. Yeah. It's kind of hard to... Mine was the cola thing, for sure. Favorite thing in the whole box. Nice. Do you have any facts you want to share with us about uh, cola? Let's see what we have here. Uh, fun facts. Roughly 9 out of 10 people in Thailand are Buddhist, making them the second largest Buddhist population in the world. We Do you want to tell them about... Our wedding moon? Oh, yeah. We went to a very spiritual place in Colorado. Uh, we stayed at a dome house, and near there was a stupa, and we went and visited that. Uh, very peaceful. A lot of Buddhist uh, undertones. I love the energy of the place that we stayed. The owner yeah. is a Buddhist, and it was very, um, I don't know, relaxing and welcoming mm -hmm. and um, very good, very good vibes there. Let's see, another fun fact. It is considered disrespectful to touch anyone on their head, even a child. Really? I had no idea. 
Resisting the urge to touch John on the head. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, seriously, because you think about that's a very common thing to kind of, you like, know, so, yeah. pat somebody on the, you know. Especially a child. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is illegal for men to drive shirtless in Thailand and could lead to tickets or even jail time. Huh. Now, is it because it's so distracting? <laughs> I wish that was illegal here. Yeah, sure. me too. I'm just playing. Thailand is the only country in Southeast Asia that was never colonized by Europeans. Hmm. Red Bull, the popular energy drink, was inspired by a well-known Thai drink. And I'm not even going to pronounce it. Really? Or try. Or, yeah, that's what it says. Interesting. See? Fun Interesting. Facts. I always, I always think the, the facts are fun. And the snacks are fun. That's why... Yep. After all this time, we still get snack crate. That's this right. is one of our favorite little date nights that we do. I mean, you know, we're party animals like that. <laughs> 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 Trying new snacks from different places and learning a little bit about others. And, yeah. you know, we always say this and it's true. We don't have to love everything in the box for it to be a good time. Now we can say, oh, yeah, we've tried this or you know, pushes us out of our comfort zone a little bit. We, yeah. we love snack crates so very much. So let us know if you have tried snacks from Thailand before and maybe what some of your favorites were, or I'm really interested in the food. When, oh, when we see travel channels eat their way through <laughs> Asia, we just yeah. drool. Oh my gosh. The food looks so good. And I love hot and spicy stuff, and I know they do too. So Yeah. I yeah. I mean that's not so much my thing, but I I love the fresh herbs and I love all the broth and noodles and all of that stuff. Oh. I can put up with the heat um for other you know. For other reasons i can because i love it so much the noodles and and all the fresh veg and everything i can put up with a little bit of heat but anyway um all right so another snack crate in the books that was fun can't wait to see we have another one we have another one in the, uh, in the wings yeah i can't wait to see where that one is from if you're not following us on social media, please come find us. We have our links in our channel banner, the yeah. place where all of our pictures are. We have everything linked there except for TikTok, but we have a TikTok too, so come find us there as well. I would say the best place to find us is probably Instagram. It's the place where we're most active. We love Instagram. Yeah. 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 So come find us. Uh, now, if you are in Thailand or have been to Thailand or love trying snacks from different places or trying new things yeah or savory snacks or sweet snacks or us or the video, video give this video a big thumbs up it really helps our channel when you do that that's all we have for today see you next time that's it guys thanks for watching bye, bye.